Today we're making some custom cases. Hey everyone, welcome to CLO Ed TV. What motivated me to make today's video is I am an avid game collector, especially of the Game Boy, Game Gear, and other gaming systems. Normally I will find games like this out in the wild just loose. The only problem is when you're trying to display your collection or if you're trying to resell an item and to find the original artwork and cover art and cases with a manual sometimes is very expensive and hard to find. So today we're going to actually be making our own custom cases and how we're going to do that is actually with something very unique. Let me grab it. So today we're going to take something like this cassette case and turn it into this. Now this is the way I want to display my games. Right here it has the original cover art and you can open it up. I'm going to go over everything you need to make these great custom cases. Alright, let's go ahead and get into the supply list. Alright, so this is everything that you need to make your custom game cases. So you're obviously going to need your game cartridge. I'm using Game Boy games today. You're going to need cassette cases. Now these I got for 75 cents a piece and or a 30 pack on Amazon and I'll leave the link in the description below. You're also going to need a way to print the cover art and cassette tapes use a J shaped cover art. So I'm just using these four by six glossy photo papers, but you can also print on eight and a half by 11 or whatever glossy paper you have. You're also going to need some scissors to cut things flush and a pair of snips. Now these are to cut the tabs in the cassette right here. All right. So let's go ahead and prep the cases first. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is prep our cases. Okay, so the first thing you're going to have to do, and I recommend just go ahead and disassemble your cassette case, set this part aside. You're going to need the part where the cassette tape holes are rest in, and you want this out of your way. So you're going to take your snips and come right here and just cut the tab off. All right, let's do that again right here. And this is all you need to prep your case. Okay, the next thing we got to do is print our 3D inserts. Okay, next up, you're going to have to 3D print your inserts. Let's check out what this looks like on the 3D printer over there. Now, these are custom inserts found on Thingiverse, and the creator of this one is Now Knack. So I'm going to leave a picture right here as I'm talking, and you can download the specific case. What's really cool about it is you can go ahead and slide in and your game fits nice and snug in there. It is a little bit looser with your Game Boy Color game, so it's very loose, but it's still a decent fit. And you just slide your games in like this. Now, once you have your tabs cut and this material is a little bit tighter. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and assemble one so you can see. So you just basically slide the insert right in just like this and then you add your hinge. Okay, and there it is. So now when you slide your game in, looks just like that. Pretty plain without the artwork, so that is actually the next step we're gonna do right here. Next thing we're gonna do is print our J cards. We're gonna do that in Affinity Designer. Let's get to it. Okay, the first site you wanna go to is the National Audio Company. You're gonna scroll down and you will see all the templates for your cassette covers. They have three panel, four and five panel, uh, cases they even have more here but basically we're going to do our project with a three panel card once you download it it's going to look like this and when you open this in your photo editing software you're going to use this template to lay down your artwork okay when you lay your artwork in and as soon as you drop the template in it's going to be the correct size you don't have to rescale it up or down or anything and then on the right hand side I have a demonstration as you can see for the spine what kind of artwork I want it the logo of the Game Boy and then the actual game and then some pictures of the game in play in the back. But this is just to show you in software how you would lay out your artwork. If you're printing in 4x6 you want to make sure that you go ahead and uh, lay out your artwork for your covers just like this here. So it's going to take a majority of the space just center it a little bit so that way you have enough room for your printer to print.
This is your basic J card. Threefold blank inside. All right, let's get this thing assembled. Now we get to the fun part and assemble everything together. I really like how this sheen on this particular filament turned out. It's very almost uh, bronze metallic-ish and it's just really nice. It's called silk and I'll leave this filament in the description below. First thing in the assembly is you want to insert your artwork, which is here. Go ahead and set that in there. This is after you folded it up properly. Next, you need your insert. So I'm going to insert that next. And you want to be sure not to uh, bend your artwork. You want to slide it right behind there. This one inserts nice and snug. And some of the filaments seem to uh, be a little thicker than others, but this slid in just perfect. Next, you want to insert your game. You want to insert it this way. All right, so it lands properly, and that gold really adds to the throwback of the original card. All right, last but not least, here the snips are cut, and we just add our tabs like this, and we have a completed Game Boy case. That looks very awesome. Now I can stick that on the shelf, looks nice and neat, and this is exactly what I wanted. In April 21st, 1989, came the inception of the Game Boy. Portable game systems like this will lead to modern versions of this, such as this Mayu Mini. The Mayu Mini takes a lot of visual cues from the Game Boy Entertainment System. And if you haven't seen my review on this particular game system, click on this link above. Hey, I must say, I really enjoyed this project. Now I have a nice way to present my gaming collection. Also now when I'm reselling my games, I have a very nice way to display my products. The motivation behind this video is I saw these cool J cards that were displayed on certain games and I wanted to do this project for myself. It was a perfect mix of a little graphic design, a little bit of engineering, and just a lot of fun guys. So if you have a game collection lying around, whether it's UMDs for the PSP, Game Boys or Game Boy Advance cartridges, or maybe you got a Game Gear collection. I highly recommend that you go on Thingiverse, print out the inserts, and go ahead on the cover project and print off your game covers. So guys, I really appreciate you guys tuning in, and if you enjoyed the video, please hit a like and definitely subscribe to the channel. Also, if you need any of the supplies or project files that I use in this video, links will be in the description below. Oh, and definitely check out my gaming channel right here. There's a lot of cool videos on there if you're a gaming enthusiast, so you definitely won't be disappointed there. Guys, take care. I really appreciate you tuning in. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.